Hey what's up guys, this is Dan Wants Tech here with a Photoshop tutorial but also a quick tip. So what series do I add this to? So I haven't done one of these Photoshop tips in a while, this one's only short, but today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly punch up vibrancy, saturation and contrast in your pictures in only 4 clicks, but without overdoing it of course. Now I know Photoshop has these auto enhance features in the newer versions they can use, but I usually find these overdo the enhancements by just increasing everything from exposure and shadows to saturation and even tint. This quick little tip will just boost the punchiness of your pictures, uh, quite an artistic effect I think, but you can of course turn down the amount of change if it's too much. So here on my desktop I have three pictures, uh, they're just example pictures I've downloaded off the internet, uh, nothing special but just to show you guys exactly what this effect can do in Photoshop. So the first one here is of two tigers and it's a nice picture. Uh, but obviously the lighting is not great, as you can see it's quite dull and uh, the contrast does need to be improved. The second one is of a robin and a bumblebee and the same thing, uh, the, the lighting isn't great, it's a nice picture but it could be improved a lot. And the third one is of a fall scene or an autumn scene down the road and basically uh, the colours are great but they don't pop out of the picture. So we're going to improve that in Photoshop with this effect. So let's open up Photoshop, CS6 is the one I have. Uh, it doesn't matter what version of Photoshop you have, I think even the older versions have this feature. It should work in every version really. So we're going to open the first picture here. We're going to open the tiger one first, and here it is. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to our layer pane, which should be on the right hand side in Photoshop. So here it is right here. If it's not, you can expand it from the right or uh, click it in the menus up here. So let's open up uh, the background layer right here, which is the default layer. Right click that and duplicate it. So here we have what to name it as, it doesn't matter what you name it as, by default it's just background copy, so click OK. And here's the layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the blend mode of this layer. So this is up in this drop down box right here, as you can see, at the moment it's set to normal. So drop down this box and go down to hard light. Click that, and as you can see the picture changes quite dramatically. So it's quite harsh at the moment, we don't want this much of a change. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the opacity of this background copy layer to something like 40 or 50 percent. So let's bring it down to 40 percent and there is the picture changed nicely. So it's, the changes are quite subtle now, they're not too harsh uh, but you can still see a difference in the picture. So if I toggle this layer on and off you can see the difference, there's the original, there is the changed version. So as you can see the contrast is better, uh, the colors are more vibrant and uh, it really does pop out of the picture more. Let's close this image and open up the second one, don't save. Let's open up the one of the robin and the bumblebee. And the same thing, we're going to run through the same process. Uh, right click the background layer and duplicate it. Click OK. And go down to the hard light blend mode in the drop down box and change the opacity to about 40%. This is personal preference, of course. You can change it to anything you want. You can leave it at 100% if you like very harsh pictures, but about 40 or 50% is good for most pictures. So as you can see, the picture is much better now. If I toggle it on and off, you can see the difference. It's quite a subtle difference, but um, it does look much better. So let's open up the third picture, just uh, to give one last example. This one is of an autumn scene. As you saw before, here it is. And let's duplicate the background layer again. Click OK. Change the blend mode to hard light. And change the opacity right down to 40 or 50%. I think in this one, about 45 is nice. So as you can see now, the, the colours are nice and vibrant, they're very uh, saturated, I know, but it can be artistic sometimes, it depends on what, what opacity you set it to, uh, it depends on your personal taste of course. But as you can see, if I toggle, toggle the layer on or off, you can see the difference. So all this can be accomplished in just four clicks, all you have to do is just duplicate the layer, uh, change the blend mode to hard light and decrease the opacity to what looks nice. And basically that's it, just save your image and that's your changes done. So that's how to punch up your photos with Photoshop's hard light blend mode. Uh, very simple, very quick, but very effective. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Photoshop tips. If you have any suggestions, leave them below in the comments and my social network links are below too. Uh, follow me if you like and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. So what series do I add this to? Such choice. Much confuse. Wow. <laughs>